Hey everyone, Jimmy here at Nahant Marsh, and um, we're out here hiking out on the trails today, and we're looking for chorus frogs. Chorus frogs are just now coming out of hibernation. There's one calling there behind me, and they kind of sound like rubbing your thumb down the length of a comb. So if, you're, if you have a comb at home, you can try this at home. Run your thumb down the length of the comb, and uh, sounds exactly like a chorus frog. And so we've got some calling here. We're going to go out and see if we can find one. Um, these are small frogs. They're only about an inch big. And you can tell them from other frogs about their size because they have three lines on their back. Um, whereas other frogs, small frogs like that, like cricket frogs are, are small, but they're really bumpy and warty. And um, tree frogs are, are more grayish, um, grayish green. And um, the chorus frogs, they have the three lines on their back. They're brown, tannish color. We're gonna go see if we can find one. We're gonna go see if we can catch this guy. So, come on. All right, so we got our chorus frog here. This is the boreal chorus frog. This species can be found throughout all of Iowa and they hibernate underneath logs and rocks where they're exposed to the frost line in winter and they can actually tolerate some freezing of their body fluids. Um, and when frozen, these frogs, their heart stops, their breathing stops, and they remain in this state of suspended animation until things warm up and temperatures rise and in the springtime, these frogs emerge from hibernation and uh, begin their breeding season immediately. And they, they do that in these temporary wetlands, um, which we call vernal pools. So they're these wetlands that establish because of springtime flooding. They don't have fish in them, um, but they, the males will find their way to these pools and start, their, start calling to attract females. And they, they call by inflating these large vocal sacs and by resonating that vocal sac, they can make these their, their calls, and that is what attracts the female. And when they're calling, they can actually get pretty loud. They can be ear deafening if you have a chorus of them going. And so they'll, they'll call, and they'll attract their mate, and they'll breed, and the females will lay their eggs, upwards of several hundred eggs, in a cluster attached to vegeta vegetation beneath the surface of the water. And um, those will hatch into little tadpoles, which will eventually become adult chorus frogs. These frogs will continue breeding all the way through April and sometimes into May. And so there's still time to get out there, still time to hear them. If you're looking for something to do, go out and find some wetlands, especially wetlands near woodlands. You can hear these guys calling it Nahant Marsh, but if you find anywhere there's shallow water. So I hope you get out there. I hope you find some chorus frogs and thanks for watching.